Y te ven. No sé. No hay stream music. We have to do some spoon dancing. I can't, I can't, I can't do any kind of dancing. That's it. There we go. Finger dance. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. It's the future. It's the most work I've had all week. <laughs> oh, live chat. Hello and welcome back to Cookie and the Haydens and I'm Carboot Chris. Bagging Bell. And also we've got I'm Andrew from Money Mental UK. Hello. Hello, Andrew. Good to have you back on for part two of this. Well, we're saying part two of the challenge. We didn't really have a part one. We kind of ended our last video with the challenge. So technically, this is part two. Thank you. It's glad to be back. It's good to be back. I'm looking forward to seeing what pickups you've got. So um, what have we got who's in the chat is there anybody saying hello give us a shout we're trying out this stream yard um so give us a shout on Bexify. the chat Bexify is in um anyone else there looks like we've got money mental uk as well woo yeah. Hi, money mental. hello <laughs> apologies folks i'm just finishing off my lunch as well professional as ever then yeah TKA. TKA. I think TKA commented on one of my videos uh, recently. John. John. Hi. Hi, everyone. Bex wants to know where Cookie is. She's being walked by my sister at the moment. She, Yeah, she's out on a bit of an adventure uh, at the moment. She might be back soon. Yes, I'm, I might have to just vacate the room. For a short time, well, I'll let her back in when my sister brings her back. The last update I got, they were lost in the woods somewhere, so it could be a while. Not a good sign, really, <laughs> is it? They'll probably come across a dead body. That's what normally happens. But hopefully Cookie will be joining us shortly. Yeah, I'm sure she will. Um, I'm just I'm playing about with StreamYard while we do this one. It's the first time I've used it, so hopefully it's going to be all right. So um let's have a look on there so has everybody been to boot sales this morning have you been out andrew i have i picked up a few last minute items for today's challenge i hope you're taking this as seriously as chris because oh my god <laughs> no I, I, I was even i was even haggling today i was like no i've got to get these prices down <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know what i did though you know what i did you know it's a 50 pound challenge yeah Right. Well, about 10 minutes, literally 10 minutes before we went on air, I said to Annabelle, just tot up these 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 columns, make sure I've got my numbers right. And I'd only gone to 40 pound. And I don't know why I did that. So I literally had to scrabble about for a couple of things that I got today to make it up to 50. <laughs> but I was trying to keep it down to 50. I've got a digital camera for seven pound 50 that I've had to put aside. I was going to say so precise and putting things in and taking things out to try and get his numbers right and then all along you'd like 10 I'd only done 40. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there's a lot of faffing about with spreadsheets in my house this morning as well to do with the I've even had to in a couple of 50p items just to make 50 because i was at 49 quid <laughs> <laughs> still oh tka so still can't get over that lingerie pickup video that that was the one that you commented on wasn't it yeah me neither me <laughs> neither but we have sold some recently haven't yeah we? oh he's got his cap on there he is yeah. chopper chopper <laughs> you I'm know we're in a car boot chris pickup we took wholesale caps that we did we took them to the car boot that we did last sunday and didn't sell a single one <laughs> am, I, am i the only person who's ever bought one from you yeah 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 all right people buy from Carbu Chris Movie Fusion a Chubba Chubbs hat. <laughs> yeah, I've or, reduced them as well. Or buy 10. <laughs> yeah, I've got, I've got a few to get rid of. Bexify says I'm selling it next next weekend. Nice one. 
as the, I don't know if you saw our video. We we were selling uh, last week. We did about one hundred and forty oh. quid or something. So and I almost got sold a, for a camel. You'll make more work in the Tesco. No, I had I had some <laughs> nutter while Chris was off buying, who was uh, Google translating because he couldn't speak English, trying to pick me up. Oh, brilliant! It it was it was comical to begin with, and then it just got a little freaky because he was very very persistent. <laughs> I wasn't there for us. I'd have just seen how much I could have got. And then. Um, nobody tries to pick me up at the car boots but there is one lady who keeps saying hello to me every time she sees me i don't know why maybe she, maybe she says hello to everyone oh that could just be her pickup line hello. i've used it before as a pickup line you know hello <laughs> you gotta start somewhere yeah oh right. no this guy was offering me he was offering to buy me coffee he tried giving me his number he was doing all sorts, but all through. You should, should have got him to buy a cap. He bought yeah. he bought a t-shirt off me, but I think that was just to kind of break the barrier so that he could start his little mission. Did he haggle with you on it? He got it for a quid. No, you can't haggle on that, can you? Mind you, some people would. Um, so we've got twenty-three in. We're doing pretty well. Um, hi, Chris. Nice haircut. Oh, it's Wayne. Wayne, nice one. Nice of you to join us. Now, All right. Joe, now you finish your, your breakfast, you're not going to get anything else out now. Are you getting some bacon? Well, not unless you want me to. I think I think it's uh, PG in this channel, isn't it? So Cook, better not. Cooking with uh, Andrew breakfast style. Yeah. Uh, John says, went to one this morning, got two DS lights with cases, a few games, 25 quid. Cartridges aren't working. Mm. Aren't oh, that's a bugger. Give it a blow. <laughs> a good blow gets job. everything working. <laughs> Put your lips to it, give it a good right. blow. Don't, let's not lower the tone, come on. <laughs> right. Right. You two need starting? to crack on with it. Yeah, we do. Because if your list is as long as Chris's, we're going to be literally here till midnight. I've so. got, I've got, um, 16 15, items. 16, 15 items. 15 or 16 items. So it's I've going to be a long video. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15. About 15 items right. as well. Right. I think we need to literally do quick show um, what you've paid, what you're expecting and move on. So before we start, let's just explain to everybody one last time before we start. So it's a £50 car boot challenge. Um, so we set it a couple of weeks ago um, over the last couple of car boots that we've all been to. Um, we've spent £50 and it's strictly for selling on eBay. Um, I did try and get Andrew to change that to Amazon because I bought some cracking things today. But I'd have just blown them out of the water. It would have been quite unfair, really. <laughs> so, yeah, we're sticking to eBay. We might do a different challenge another day. But, yeah, just and it's potential profit. So a realistic number on what we think it's going to sell for. We're not doing all this, take the fees off and what we paid for it. And all, you know, it's just potential profit at the moment. So that's it. So do you want to go first? All right. I, I, I'll just grab stuff as it comes. Okay. Uh, so I item number one is a sony playstation 3 remote which i can't show to you because i sold it and shipped it last week but that <laughs> cost three pounds uh can i screen share on this yeah i can i'll, I'll show you the uh the uh sale on ebay um while you're doing the yeah. show in let's have a look at it's that. a little small that picture all right, I'll just have a play with it in a sec. He's talking about the buttons, nothing else. What was it again, Andrew? It's a Sony PlayStation um, Blu-ray remote. So it's, ah, okay. it, it acts on your uh, PlayStation 3. No, it won't. Controlling the, as a remote control for the Blu-ray player. And can I find it? Where have you got that on? Hi, Chris. Nice haircut. You can you can highlight people's comments on oh, this. Right. It's quite good. 
Oh, that's good for the questions, then, isn't it? Yeah, if you've got a question, guys, don't forget, put question in capital so we can see it, and I'll highlight it on the screen. As you can see down here, we can make some nice um, highlighted comments. I've sold a lot of PlayStation stuff. Ah, where is it? Here it is. Right, okay, let me put the screen share on. Um, do, do, do. I'd like to say I know what you're doing, but this is all just like over the ute to me. So, oh, hang on, I've got to press a button. Yeah. Okay. Is it working? I don't know. I, I don't know what to press here. <laughs> what are you trying to do? If you put at the bottom of the screen, I've so got it. I've got it. Okay. Oh, hang on. It's giving it as a let me. I've got to add that to the stream. So hang on. Okay. So that is my screen. There is it. Okay. Um, yeah. Can you make it so, a bit bigger? It's quite small there. I've, I've no idea what I'm doing. There you go. Scroll that. Scroll down. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Go. Okay. Ooh. So, pick this up. This uh, PlayStation Three, Sony Blu-ray remote control. I uh, picked it up for three quid last weekend. Listed it last weekend. Uh, it sold within a day for twenty-four pounds. So go. that's the first one, and I'm already into profit on the challenge. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Twenty-five ninety-nine. Are you going to keep a tally of your? Your amounts. I got twenty-four quid for it at the end. They took an offer on it, so oh. yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put a tally in the spreadsheet. Okay, doke. It's it's weird though. They offered ten quid at first, so I just counted with twenty-five, and then he came back with twenty-four. I was like, fair enough. Yeah, it's close. Enough. That's more than close enough, that isn't it? Yeah. Can't be as bad as Chris's one-pound offer he got the other day. I saw that. Yeah. So what um, car boot Chris Hall would be complete without a builder bear? Because we literally pick these up all the time. Um, so this is what is it? Honey girls. Honey girls. Don't know what it is, but it's honey um, girls. No, do I? I don't know either. But it is worth a decent amount of money. Um, complete with the outfit. It costs two pound, and we're going to list that for twenty. Fair enough. I've so, never seen a builder bear it yet. I can't, I just can't believe that. I really can't. You bought two today. Yeah. So yeah, two pound to twenty pound. Not bad. Not bad. Your turn. All right. So next, we've got a Binatone uh, Baby Sense Five Baby Monitor. Uh, it's never been used still in its original box and everything original packaging that costs three pounds and i'm probably going to list that for 24.99 might push for 29.99 but it's obviously realistic so 24.99 i'm going to say for that cool that's all right yeah very good can't say i've ever picked up anything like that he wanted five for it he didn't get it he wanted four for it he didn't get it he got three <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's um, really good, that, actually. Okay, right, here's one. You're going to appreciate this. Now, this, talking about bringing the tone down a bit, this is this is belting this. Hang on. It is. Oh, yeah. It's a Hooters glass. Well, oh, it's, that. A, it's a plastic drinks cup from Hooters in Vegas, and it was 50p. Uh, if you can see Hooters Vegas, yeah. Um, I like picking stuff up like this, um, not mm -hmm. because of these, mm -hmm. but, um, yeah. So it was 50p. What have I got down for this? There's not, I couldn't find any on eBay, so I had to just have a rough guess. Um, so I, I reckon I'm going to list this for about 14 pounds. Yeah, Dave's, I like that. I might be tempted to buy that myself if I wasn't skinned. <laughs> I'm in this challenge. We're putting profit into Chris's challenge. Yeah, I can't. I can't be doing that. <laughs> but I like that. It's nice that. Yeah, different, isn't it? That'd what do well then? in my mansion. 
you go. Hugo, hold it, Andrew. When you show it, you should put the big screen on. I don't know how to do that. Can't. Just one person. Yeah, but it's just me. Can't put him on. Now, this is a familiar bolo for people. The Wally uh, Cube. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, that, yeah I like that. He moves and everything. <coughs> Until I break him, like I just did. He did move. There we go. Uh, that costs uh, two quid. Bag in there. So I'm going to shoot for some have gone for as much as 29.99, including shipping. So I'm going to clean them up and shoot for 29.99. He's a good size one as well, isn't oh, he? Two quid. Mm. Yeah, that's belting. I I would I would have to keep that. I think I've got another one. So mm. this one I've got get listed. The other one is kept. What Wally tends to sell really quickly, though. Definitely. So yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. That's cracking. That I like that. Does it do anything? I don't know uh, if it's supposed to or not. I don't think it takes batteries or anything, but it moves around and whatever. But uh, I nearly had it for a quid, and then she changed her mind. <laughs> so uh, it could have been a quid into thirty, but say la vie. Oh well, it's still good. Um, here's our next one. Oh yeah. Uh, it's a. Uh, Obviously, it's Hulk, but it's a slightly more unusual one. It's actually got material pants on it. It took us a while to find this one. It to took us fair. quite a while. Sorry, I'm blocking Annabelle there. Oh, don't worry. It took us quite a while to find this on eBay because, obviously, there is loads of them. Um, not like this, but there's loads of Hulks. Yeah. Um, and I didn't realise, but the uh, name, the make and that, is basically tattooed on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Normally it's on the feet, but it's on his bottom. Yeah, funnily enough, Chris had been looking for about 20 minutes and he was like, it's got no brand on it. He gave it me and I just went, have you looked on his bum? <laughs> yeah, it's a 2003 Hulk um, and he costs £2 and we're going to list it realistically 20 quid. Nice. Yeah. I like that as well. He's a nice one. Very good. All right, I suppose we better get some more. Yeah. Oh, Andrew's butt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A retired Lego Ninjago set. Ooh. Masters of Spinjitsu. Uh, sealed. That cost me four quid. Now, I've actually got it listed at the minute for 30 because somebody's got that, but I think it'll probably go, it'll go between 25 to 30. Yeah. Uh, it's a retired set, sealed, perfect condition, no issues, slight bit of wear just there at one corner, but that's it. So that'll be a nice bit of uh, potential profit there, hopefully. Yeah, we've got a bit of a theme here, haven't we? The amounts that we're spending and getting. Get <laughs> um lolly frads says which car boots did we go to today she went to bolton but wasn't impressed well we went to burnage rugby club i don't know about you uh andrew i just went to the local one in wrexham i didn't go any further i'm getting lazy <laughs> i should go to Chirk really I'll, I'll i'll go to Chirk next time but they've just moved the local one to the to the cow field so it, it, i was stepping in cow muck all the time as well so Nice. Ours wasn't too bad, was it? Because we thought yeah. it would be a lot wetter, you know, with the amount of downpours we've had, but it was quite dry. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't too bad at all, to be honest, because it absolutely levered it down yesterday and the day before. So I was a bit wary about how muddy it was going to be. Mm, it was fine. Okay. It was busy. Right. Here's a good one. Um, let me go full screen. Uh, this is Lion King. I have to do everything back to front because it's opposite. Um, so it's Lion King. Who is it again? Janga. Uh, one of the hyenas. One of the hyenas from Lion King. And um, it listed as well with the live action film. Um, it cost £1.50. I had to do a little bit of a clean up job because some kid had stuck plasters on his legs 
um it was a nightmare to get off uh, but these things are going for 35 quid and that is what we're gonna oh. that's unreal if 35 you, quid for a plush if you manage to find the gray version you know the one that's a bit crazy um they're yeah. good for 100 quid plus good lord yeah so yeah. keep an eye out for that one I've got a Simba I can't even sell. It's brand new with tags. I can't sell plushies. They just don't sell for me. Yeah, Simbas, though, it depends which one it is. They are quite common, so it um, depends which one. We did a, I sold a, a big Simba and a big Nala together, and I only got about 12 or 13 pounds for that, and they were real two decent size ones. They're kind of 10 a penny now, though, aren't they? Sometimes yeah. Simbas, You've got to look but... for the unusual characters sometimes. Okay, so that's a good one. All right, that's me again, isn't it? Um, all right, hang on. That's me. Oh, all yeah. the way. Fucking day, isn't it? <laughs> that's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for the book. So, I won't model it, but for two quid, I got this vintage um, Adidas. Lions Tour of South Africa, 2009. Uh, genuine um, rugby top, long sleeve version. That cost me two quid. And I'm going to list that for 24.99, including shipping. That's all right. It's decent. I hate clothes. <laughs> but yeah. it tends to sell quite well, those yeah. um, sports there's tops. Good, there's good markups in some of them. And that's the thing with clothes. I've 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 started doing a lot more clothes, looking sp for sp specific stuff, especially like the vintage and the nineties stuff. But there's real good markups in it, and I think um, clothing is what has got our numbers up from this time last year. Yeah. I think we're doing a lot better because of the amount of clothing that we're doing. And it's easier to store. It is easy to store, yeah, and ship and, and everything. Yeah. <laughs> um, talking of clothing, I'll do a piece of clothing. Now, this is a genuine Hugo Boss jacket. Very nice. What it size? Is, <laughs> it is really nice, actually. What size? It's only, it's a ladies, I think. It's a size oh, 40. Right. Um, I've got no chance with that then. Yeah, it's very, very nice. Uh, there's not a lot to say about it, other than it cost me five quid. And it's in great condition. And we are, I, I couldn't find the exact same one, but I went kind of like a middle figure of what the other ones were going for. And we're going to list it for 50. 50? Good Lord. Whether we get 50, I'm not sure, but. That's nice, that. I'm going to aim for 50 and hope to get 40 plus. It's a nice coat, that. Not bad. I'm going to have to pull out some of my bolos in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you already had. No. No, that's just the cheap stuff. <laughs> well, um, it's yet to come. Next, we have... So, bigger moon. Yeah. Then, two quid, same chap. Uh, this... South Africa Rugby World Cup 2011 um, shirt, nice genuine one there again from Canterbury. Um, cost two quid again, and again yeah. that'll be listed for twenty four ninety nine, including shipping. Yeah, Chris, Chris would have picked them up if he'd have seen them in a shop. Yeah, I'd have, I'd have picked them up along. Good ones, them nice shirts. I reckon they'll sell pretty well. Hopefully so. Well, you've always got people that collect like any sports shirts, don't they? So that if they're if they're missing years that they haven't got. Yeah. They'll just go for it when they uh... Yeah. Got twelve uh, quick scam quick scams said got twelve ink cartridges for one pound fifty earlier at the booty. That that's a, I've never bought ink cartridges, but um sounds like a good deal. But do you have to watch the dates on them? That's funny you should mention ink cartridges. I picked up a uh, a print head that I'll show you in a bit. You might be pleasantly surprised by the price. Well, unpleasantly, depending on how you look at it. Challenge, then. 
Right. And Richard Payne says hello. Hello. Hi, Richard. You okay? Hey, Richard. Give him a shout out. Right, it's my turn, isn't it? Right. Another plush. And do you know who this guy is? It looks familiar. He's, um, is it uh, Santa's little helper? It is. Yay. Actually well looks done. a bit like Cooker, just with shorter ears. It does, actually, yeah. Um, this little guy was 50p. What do you reckon we're going to list him for? Uh, 25 quid, go on. 20 quid. 20 quid, okay. I have, I've sold him before. I know that he's going to go. Um, I, I couldn't remember how much I'd sold him for, uh, but I think it was 20. So we're just going to list him back up at 20 again. Um, I like him. I yeah. ignored all the plushies today. Quick, scan, quick scam says, yeah, they're not too old, but not too recent. Probably four years old maximum. Right. Should do all right on them then, shouldn't they? Mm, can't, we can't really lose at £1.50 for them, can we? No, no, definitely not. It's good, yeah, that. Can't choose, no. Get them listed, nice little bundle. Yeah. Go on, then, your turn. Right, OK. Um, I thought I had grabbed something that I haven't. <laughs> Well, if we're talking 50p items, I'll grab this. He wanted a pound for it, but he didn't get it. He got 50p for a Nintendo Genuine Official uh, Whoop 011 AC adapter. Uh, this is a typical car boot Bible boys pickup, but they aren't around anymore. And uh, listed... Just go for about thirteen ninety nine. That's good. I would. I wouldn't pick that. I wouldn't pick that up because I just don't know what I'm looking at with stuff like that. So just look for the branding. Saw it there and, and took it. It's got to be worth fifty p, hasn't it? Yeah. Uh, quick scam says, how much are you thinking? He's thinking at least a quid each, or all of them for a tenner. Uh, you can't get more than that. No, and it needs to have a look at solds for the uh, cartridge model. But in cash, just go for big money. Yeah, and it was, yeah, like you say, it depends on the model because different cartridges. Some are really expensive, and some are not so expensive. But either way, you're going to get more than that, definitely. Yeah, you could sell them in pairs, maybe, or yeah, and that way it's uh, you get a bit more, you know, in 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 one go. I mean. It Potentially, you could be look like two for eight quid or something like that. Too. I don't well, Yeah, but it depends on the model, doesn't oh, it? Right. Because some cartridges are 30, 40 quid and some are only a tenner, so you just don't know. Yeah, but so, I would say you just got to do your, your research on well, that. Richard Payne said inks can be good, have to be genuine, really. Dates don't matter too much as King. I picked up a load of inks. <laughs> We've seen them online for four quid each. Majority are black inks, some magenta. Four quid each, then that's a price. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. See, four pound. About three for a tenner or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, is it my t is it my turn or yours? Yours. Uh, I've just shown the adapter, so it's you. Okay. Right. So um, I'll do another bit of clothing, and this is I'll do the back first. That'll give you a clue. It's an Elvis fleece. Oh, that's going to be worth money. It didn't actually belong to Elvis, don't worry, because then you would be screwed then. <laughs> um, it's um, it's a Bradford Exchange extra large fleece. Um, at first he was asking, where's the thing? At first he was asking £8 for that. Um but I kind of walked away and I decided to have a quick look at solds on eBay. Um, oh, he's got little guitars for the uh, for the zips. Oh, yeah. I didn't know. Oh, it's going to be expensive, isn't it? Uh, so I, end, I, um, I, I like what I saw on eBay. And I went back and I negotiated him down to £6. And I'm going to list it for 40 quid. Stupid clothes. Clothes should be banned. <laughs> and there is a sold, actually. I think there was a sold for something like £40 with £20 postage to America. So 
I'm reasonably confident that is going to go. I might even list it higher, but if we're talking realistic, I'll say 40 quid. Uh, I like that. It's good. And it'll, I've done my clothes. It'll probably be my mum that buys it. I <laughs> could get your mum to buy it. That'll be a quick sale. <laughs> Dude, right. Good to see your mum. What do you fit in it? It will not be like a tent, will it? I'll just bring this bag over, save nothing about. Uh, yeah, we'll leave that one for a bit. We've got Danny Park in. Picked up this for two pounds. Oh. Titanic Adventure Out of Time Big Box PC game. Works on both PC and Mac. It's complete. Um, bought off a guy who said he didn't have any games. So what's that? That's a game. Okay, two quid. <laughs> um, it should go for between 25 to 30. But yeah. That's good. Now, would so, you have looked at that one? I wouldn't, I wouldn't have even looked at it. I really wouldn't. So happy with that. Yeah, it's a good one. See, you're, you're saying about our high price ones. You're, you're slowly pulling them out yeah. now, aren't you? You're like, he's, he's doing, creeping them out, you know, £2 to £30, £2 to £25. Or, What's mm. going to be his grand finale? I know. What are you saving till the end? I think I'll, I think I'll, I'll hold off on the shoes until the end. Oh, <laughs> right. Another Builder Bear? Yeah. You Never love, seen him. You love these? You nearly didn't pick this one up as well, didn't you? Yeah, I nearly missed it. It is a um, Starry Night Vampire, I think. Um, and it costs £2. And we're going to list it at 25 There are some solds, slightly less than that, but without all the clothing. Yeah. So this has got a full kit of clothing. And so we're going to go for 25 on that. Unbelievable. Stupid bears. <laughs> <laughs> you would be saying stupid bears if you'd been the parent buying it from a shop because that would have probably been about 60 quid. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, I wouldn't even be buying it. No chance. No no child is worth that much. They can have well, one from a car boot. You're paying for the experience because they actually build them themselves and stuff them and do all sorts to them. Well, the woman on the stall reckons that she spent £60 in the end on this one, wasn't it? Yeah. 60 quid. And I probably believe her because the, the outfits are stupid and then, like, like Annabelle says, you custom make them. It's just crazy money. So she spent 60 quid on it and then sold it a car boot for two quid. Two quid. And then... If you ever do come across builder bears, if you can get them unstuffed, believe believe it or not, they're worth stupid money. Again, you can they, they can pay a hundred plus for an unstuffed one. That's unbelievable. Do you have any of these things here? I don't know why you'd want to pay more for one that hasn't been stuffed. But there we go. Oh, it's, it's a virgin bear, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, yes, lad. Media says um hi all had oh where's he gone had my first item didn't arrive today tracked through hermes track tracking says place securely in porch customer customer says different thoughts please i've had a few of these um and basically you need to contact my hermes customer service and tell them that there's a dispute with your customer they're saying that it's not delivered and eventually Hermes take ages to sort stuff like this out but they will send you a form to fill in that your customer has to sign it's like a like an affidavit type um, declaration that says I did not receive this item it's like a, almost a legal document and then eventually you'll get a refund that's how it works with me anyway you're kinder than me. I just tell them to raise a non-receipt case on eBay, put the tracking number in, and then watch it close. Mm. Yeah, but uh, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, it's it's mainly because he's put it in the they put it in the porch. You see, that's the difference. So they'll dispute it on that basis. 
that's that's what I would do. Um, you could do. You could also tell them to open a case, but I think eventually that's probably what's going to end up happening. All righty. Next pick up. This was just to get me up to the fifty pound figure. Can we so put this that book. Up? Sorry, can we put that comment up while while we're talking? What? Bell is definitely the rose between two thorns. I want to keep that one on the screen for the rest of the time we're doing it. <laughs> There's nobody chatting. The right of Bell. You can't be talking about me. I'm no thorn. <laughs> so go on. I picked this Warhammer book. It's the um, I can't even remember the name of it. It's it's a the Eisenhorn trilogy, I think. Oh yeah, yeah, I know that one, yeah. Yeah, it's a Warhammer book. Now, it's there's no sold, no sold history on this on eBay. No sold history on it on Terra Peak either. Um, on Amazon, new copies are about 40 quid. Wow. So I'm just going to take a punt as I've got the only copy apparently in existence. <laughs> and I'm going to list it for 20 quid on eBay and see what happens. It was only 50p, so... Huh. That's it may right. never sell, or it may get snapped up straight away and then end up back on Amazon. I literally know nothing about Warhammer at all. I couldn't. I, know, I picked up a bundle of Warhammer books, which are worth about four or five quid each for 50p each. So I'm going to bundle them all together for 20 quid. But that one, I couldn't find. All I could find was the uh, Amazon entry for it. I couldn't find anything else anywhere else. There's your answer to the. Um... Oh, yeah, people may be on. Yeah. Stuffing holds in Booger's snot and other nasty mess. Yeah, I'm not touching that. <laughs> God only knows what's all over our house and with the amount of bloody second-hand toys we've got. I know, God, I've Jim. got Ooh, bed bugs and all sorts, probably. Um, okay. Um, on the uh, Marvel theme... Um, I've got this fella. Oh yeah, I've had one of those before. Yeah, I I sold one actually not long ago, probably uh, a few weeks ago. Exactly the same figure, and he went for on an offer for seventeen pound. I think I had him up for twenty. Uh, so I'm going to say seventeen on this one. Okay. He cost he cost two pound. So not as big a profit as what I've been used to. Not bad though. They're it's all right. Quickly. I've can't. sold one for about I can't remember, it was about fifteen or sixteen quid. Yeah. It cost, yeah. Me, cost me about ten p. So. Well, ten p is good, but yeah, two quid. Not bad. Right. Uh, I'll tell you what. Let's show a pair of shoes. These these not the ones that you were saving for the grand finale. No, these aren't the ones I'm saving to the end. I've even used sex, seen used sex toys. It's, it's fair enough. Uh, I've got these sketches, shape ups. They're absolutely immaculate. They look like they've never been worn. Um, ladies, I think six, oh, six, size six. That actually, I can't show these to my mum because she would buy them. Um, <laughs> but yeah, they cost six pounds listed because of the condition they're going to go on for 40 quid well what so, make are they? sketches oh sketches yeah are they like the toning ones or are they just I, i've not a clue i know nothing about shoes i just saw the brand saw the condition and she said she wanted about eight quid she wanted eight quid for him but uh then she wanted seven but we agreed on six did you um did you research them before you bought them? Nope. You're happy just I to pick get a phone signal in that field. Most no. of what I picked up I didn't research. Um Tommy says is he over a pound? It means the figure that you just showed. Does uh, it weigh over is it one kilogram? Well a pound's different to a kilogram. No, I know, but is that what he meant? Is he over Could be. one kilogram in He's, weight? No, I wouldn't have said so. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, they are booty makers. They sell instant in the States. What's boot? What's that? Have I missed something? Is she talking about the shoes? Are they talking about the shoes? Could be. Some great pickups here, says Richard. Well, I think we've done pretty well here, to be honest. I think we've got some good ones. Yeah. Right. I thought Chris was being like, oh, see, you're like really over the top with how like eager he was to get some really good buys, but you clearly have done the same, so. Oh, yeah, this is the cream de la creme. <laughs> <laughs> I, I even broke into my emergency fund today to get some stuff. <laughs> I had uh, I tested this morning and was at four o'clock and wasn't working. Um, now, my next one is something that I do not pick up very often at all, uh, and that is a board game. Okay, if this is a, if this is a cold, it's I'm not going to be happy. It's no, no, it's, it's not just any board game, but it's Pac Man. Oh, nice, I've not come across that um it's complete as well um and guess how much i paid sorry man. 50 p nice um it has got a little bit of damage on the end there yeah. uh but i'll just make sure that's clear in the listing um but they are all over the place the prices for this game um some are 30 pound plus and some are less than 20. so i'm going to put it up for 25. nice 50p and 25 well, i'll take that all day long definitely yeah all right um i'll get in towards the end oh QVC shopping channel thing yeah trying to sell our items <laughs> we have items one of which is over here another one i can't show because it's currently it's knackered oh. but yeah, Tommy, Tommy, Tommy Burnham was talking about the shoes. It was the ah. shape, they, they are the sketches of the shape up ones because you can see with them being ah. a bit rounded. So right. the tone in one. I get, yeah, I get. Uh, yeah, they'll sell well. They will. So for fifteen quid, I picked up a bundle. It includes a scientific calculator, a Casio one, but I can't get that working. So I think I need a new battery for it, and it's only worth a tenner anyway. So if it works, great. If it doesn't, I'm not bothered. But for 15 quid, I got this Scale Electrics McLaren F1. I got okay. that's nice. This Sylvanian Family's Master Bedroom Set, which is that's good money. And I got this, um, what I thought was an ink cartridge that's in date up until September 2020. So we start with this. This, uh, I should get 29.99 for. This is 19.99, and then this uh, it turns out to be um, a print head. There's a matte black print head in there and a red print head. Now, this particular one hasn't sold before, but the other colours have been going for up, upwards of 50 quid. Right. So I'm going to list this one for 49.99. Oh, you cheap you get. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, for me, 15 quid, what are we talking, 30, 80, 100 quid. <gasps> no, I'm not having that. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's and, a good buy. This isn't even his grand finale. You need to start worrying. <sighs> to be fair, actually, that, that, that grand finale, but never mind. <laughs> How many items have you got left? Uh, I've got one, I think, I'd better just check, me. I'll let me check my spreadsheet, make sure, uh, I haven't shown that, I've shown that, that, Quick that, we have been to that, cab down that. south, that. have we, I've got one, one item left, in that London, you got one item left, i better do a couple, okay. of I've still got a few left, right, I think you kind of uh, you did three in one go there, so yeah, uh, you've you've fired ahead. Um, Quick scam says, "Have we ever been to car boots down south?" I don't think we have. It's down south, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, what about when we went to eBay? 
Oh, no, we ain't got car boots in charity shops. We've done charity shops, haven't we? We've done charity shops, but not, not really car boots. Yeah, no, I don't think we have. Have, have you done much, Andrew, in the way of car boots? In the... No, no, not down south. I don't go down south except for work, so. Yeah. Uh, Attack Doctor says, nice pickup. Oh, it's Attack Doctor, wasn't it? Um, commented on, you commented on one of my videos. Um, I had to remove your comment and it's nothing personal, but um, if you want to message me afterwards, I'll tell you why. It, it was nothing that you did wrong or said anything wrong. Or there was just some reasons why I removed it. But So I was trying to get hold of you, but I couldn't find um, anything uh, about how to contact you um so yeah don't take that personal it was nothing really I'll, I'll tell you afterwards and you'll understand um right so i'll do it better do a couple now i've got another builder bear but this is worth 50 quid i'm not going home it's, <laughs> no unfortunately it's not it's, but it's very cute it's from elf the movie and a uh, cost um two pound he's going to go for about 20. So a, a standard build a bear buy, really, that one. Nice, that. It's quite a nice bear, that one. Apart from all the snot and stuff that's inside it. <laughs> um, I'll stick on me and I'll pull out another one. I've never, I don't think I've bought a, one of these before, but this calculator. No, yep, just like me, a calculator. I wonder if it's the same model as I've got. Yeah, as well. Um, it's a Casio FC100V. It's actually... I tell a lie, it's a financial consultant. Uh, that's what it says here. I'll um, tell you what, financial consultants come in boxes like that, I'd be surprised. It's a financial consultant. Uh, it cost me a pound. It's fully working. I can turn it on here somehow. There we go. It's working. And um, I'm going to put it up. It has sold. I'm going to put it up for 20 quid. Nice. Uh, the tap doctor says Andrew has his email, uh, but he's very curious now. Yeah, I won't get too excited. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> I'll go on, I'll do another one because I've still got four left here. No, so, I've only got one. It's uh, like Christmas, isn't it? It is, isn't it? I, well, we definitely were really sad, especially with the owl. We have to keep our uh, Christmas presents equal. It's like you open one, you open one, you open one. <laughs> But then what I do is I save some that she's not seen so that I've got like five at the end to open. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, I was talking about 90s vintage stuff. Um, and this is a really nice Adidas. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, I really like that. It's uh, nice, that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it cost me £4. And I'm going to list it for 35. Nice. I like the I way they turned. I like the way they turned chav into vintage. Yeah. <laughs> chav fashion. Um, Are you going to put Andrew back on? Yeah. Yeah, but I'm doing a couple, aren't I? So uh, I'm still oh, in. Right. I thought you still. No, because he's only got one left. Oh. Yeah, he's going out. Um, I would caught up any chat on here. I think we've done everything. Yeah. Okay, right. Go on. I'll show you this one. Another clothing item. All right. Let me just put this on full screen because I might need it. This is... Oh, nice. It's an ATV jacket, but it's a child's one. Well, it says child, but... It's massive. It is pretty big. Uh, I've got to show an adult one. That would have killed me. Yeah, yeah. It's brand new with tags, which is a... Oh. Um, but I did pay £8 for it. Um, now, I cannot find any precedence for it at all. There's literally no trace of this thing on the internet, even on their own website. So, um, looking at similar ones, I'm going to list it for 50 Jesus. Stupid clothes. Never <laughs> <laughs> ignored the clothes. It's a nice, it is a nice jacket though. It really yeah, nice. proper thick. 
I wouldn't mind, but the guy said that he had two and he left one at home, and I said, oh, I would have had that. So, never mind. Right, I've got two left. Do you want to... They kind of link the last two, so do you want to do oh, your last one? Let's, let's, uh, all right, let's, uh, let's get my uh, final uh, item out. Then can we have a drum roll? Oh, cracking day again. <laughs> so I hate clothing and I hate shoes. So I've got a pair of uh, Jeffrey West oh. boots. Um, I, I only bought them because it says what they are on the box. Satsuma brown boots in a very good condition. Hardly been worn. Um, paid a tenner for him. Uh, I've been a listing for about a thousand pounds. Now, listed probably go on for 70 to 75 pounds. Wow, I think you uh, might have they are a very nice pair of shoes, though. So. Yeah, Did you tell you what? Andrew, yeah. What I think you should keep them, mate. Don't sell them. Keep I'll tell you, them. I'll tell you what. They might fit me. I'm a, I'm a ten and a half. If they fit me, I'm really tempted to keep them because I'm never going to get such a beautiful pair of boots again. How are you only a size ten and a half shoe? You like? I, I might, I might be an eleven. To be fair, I'm not sure. It, it just, it's, it's, How do you it even like to stay on your feet if you're <laughs> ten and a half? <laughs> you're like eight foot tall. Oh, I tell you what, I saw some tall people today make me look like giants next to me. They all yeah. come out for the car beat for some reason. Maybe the clowns were about. <laughs> um, the tap doctor says my main worry is about fake clothing. You just need to research, 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 research. I, I mean, YouTube I've, videos. I've picked up some fakes um, by accident. Um, it's hard sometimes, and we we nearly picked up uh, a Bape uh, tracksuit today, but we went with the fact that it was most likely a fake. So I don't know, we might have missed out on something, no, but no, yeah. we didn't. Pretty sure it's a not fake. Not in else chance. Luckily, yeah. fortunately, my, my one of my sons is into the really expensive makes, so he's kind of been giving us some tips on what to look for. And he took me for a trip around Selfridges and Manchester, and I nearly died just looking at the clothes, let alone anything else. But I was looking at the tags, you know, and like specific things that were in them. So now, if we do see anything that we know is a really good make, we have got a better idea on what should be in it. So. I say I'm gonna to have to come to Selfridges to do my research. Not that you ever get any good mates. They do have some shoes today at uh, the boot, some Ralph Lauren ones and some Russell Bromley ones and stuff, but they didn't look great quality, so I left them. And that's always your safest bet, isn't it? If it's not gonna cost you much and you're not really gonna lose out if you find out it's fake, then take a chance if you're not sure. But if they're asking yeah. a fair bit for it, then don't even bother, it's not worth it. If you miss yeah. out out don't you it's your best bet so are you have you run out is that it? That's, it that's me unless you want me to get me casio calculator that doesn't work <laughs> no <laughs> uh right now then now then i've saved two really nice items to the end i've sold them both before so i know i know what they're worth and you're going to know as soon as you see them Right, I'll start with the baby one first. This is oh, baby. Pennsylvania. Oh no, he's got some Jurassic Park dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is baby. Yeah. I think it's Indominus Rex, isn't it? Uh, and he's got battle damage, which is really important. That, that just means he's broken and needs to go in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> he's 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 a chomper with battle damage. Uh, it's bro broken. It's not supposed to do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, now he cost me four pound, um, and I'm going to list him for thirty five. He's only a small one, and I've sold this one before for forty quid. So I'm going to list him for thirty five. 
there's a little there's a few more on the market at the moment so i think it's getting a bit people are realizing the value of these figures i look so, out for them every boot but i never see them yeah, yeah. <laughs> so anyway i said before that this was baby so you've not got the t-rex over here i have got the t-rex but not uh, I've, I've not included him i've got big bugger indominus rex. big indominus rex look at the size of this guy now that, I've sold, that one looks broken as well <laughs> i've sold two of these before and he, he moves like that and he lights up as well the side and um this cost me nine pounds so i did pay for it um you say that like you stole the rest of them i know um and i'm going to list him for 60. and they seem to be selling it as well are you still there i thought you'd gone i thought you'd like i thought you'd walked out i'm not i'm not happy with these dinosaurs dinosaurs and cloves should be banned now it's uh, off the same person i did buy a hybrid t-rex as well and i thought he was going to be worth like him but he's, he's worth about 30 pounds so i didn't include him in this lot so i have actually got a t-rex Swap him round, get get the thirty quid one instead. <laughs> um, I love buying them. I really love them. They're great. I, I it's going to be close, this, you know. But didn't you say that the person that you got them, the there was other people that were kind of eyeing it up as well, and it's like yeah, you've got to, you've got to swipe them quick. Well, the the problem was it uh, for a car boot, it for for a normal punter they were quite expensive unless you know what you're looking at because they were like yeah they were like nine ten eleven twelve pound <clears throat> and i bought several so we've got a slightly better price so yeah you, your average joe left them alone it was it was there waiting for um for yeah. resellers to come along and pick them have, up have you noticed a lot of people now are charged or trying to charge ebay prices at the boot i went to yeah. one store two stores actually where they just priced everything by ebay I was saying to them, I said, look, the thing is, right, you buy something off eBay, you've got your seller protection. If it don't work, you can return it. You can't yeah. return it in a car boot. Yeah. But now, no one Sometimes it. People are printing out the eBay listing, aren't they? And and when you're looking at it, and they get it out from the boot of the car and say, here's, here's the, the eBay listing, that's how much it is. And, and, it, and it's just something listed. It's not even a sold value. And you're just like, no. No, yeah. I, I, I've had a look and it's sold for about a tenner. I know. Right, do we want to, um, do, do we even want to venture into what our expected profits are going to be? Yeah. I can, I can talk about my total listed value if you want. I've worked that out roughly. Go on then. What's your listed value? In if, I, if, if I can't get the calculator to work, I'm on about 435. If I can get the calculator to work, um, I have got batteries for it. It'll be four, four, five. Might even push four fifty because I might put a couple of things higher. Not bad, not bad. So your fifty pound, hopefully, is going to turn into four hundred and fifty. That's all right. Yeah, that's, that's a good turnaround. Take a bit of shipping, bit of fees off, and uh, Bob's your uncle. So what? Four hundred. Well, twenty percent for fees, isn't it? I I have shipping on top of mine, so I don't do free shipping. Uh, do. My my total that I've got here potential profit. This is what I'm going to list it for is four hundred and eighty six pound. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> whoop, whoop. oh, it means. It means I'm pushing the prices up across the board. I'm going for 500. <laughs> <laughs> I knew we were going to be close. I knew we'd be close. I mean, it means nothing until it sells, right? Yeah, but yeah. look at the stuff between us we've bought. We've barely got anything the same, and we're roughly coming out with the same sort of price. So that just shows what profit there at, there is in all sorts of things, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right, these are going on for a hundred. 
<laughs> so what we're going to do are we going to see how long this lot takes to shift and then do a, another episode part three yeah, i think um i'm going to get all this stuff listed tomorrow some yeah. of it's listed already but i'm going to list the rest of it tomorrow and then um we could touch base uh, yeah some of it's long tail stuff so could take yeah. a while well, some of it like this adapter this will go over in a few days of being listed yeah definitely I and mean, it's the same here we'll have like the jurassic park toys will will go really quickly um, look at richard look at andrew's face when you're <laughs> saying that he's like <laughs> um, but but some of the other stuff will take time so um part three of this challenge will conclude in 12 months time in about three years <laughs> if that if that if my stereo had been working that, that, that i'd have killed you <laughs> it's all ifs and buts that would, would have been it would have been another 60 quid on me total job done but no yeah so anyway so early signs are that that we've got the most potential value but we take a lot of offers so that could go down and, and i'm already 24 quid in yep so so far you yeah. are actually beating us <laughs> definitely mate may the best man win can i just show everyone why i wanted to include amazon in this challenge so, yeah yeah i've seen your pickups oh you've seen them on instagram uh, uh, on, on your Facebook page and not on Instagram anymore. This one. Yeah. Um, I did tell Bexify that Cookie would possibly be joining us, but I'm actually now thinking that maybe my sister's genuinely got lost. <laughs> I think she should have been back on the dead body. She's <laughs> there surrounded by the murder squad now. I think she should have been back about three hours ago. <laughs> so at the boot today i picked up some books um that i'm going to send up to amazon fba and i was messaging andrew to see if we th if we could include amazon into this challenge <laughs> but he said no i thought that's fair enough um so i got these two uh, final fantasy guides um yeah, good money on those. yeah they cost a pound each um and that one i can't remember which one it is one's one's going for 45 quid on amazon and the other one is 30. so that's 75 quid there that would have been a cracker that i've got a load of strategy guides to send in to amazon when i start doing it oh yeah no you'll do well on them now you most people i reckon would, would pass this up um there's 11 of these all exactly the same and they're in german they're in german <laughs> um but i bought some of these from the same seller about three months ago from a car boot and i've never seen him since and i sent them up to amazon fba and they've been selling quite steadily to to amazon germany for 15 euros each nice and um I think I've only got one left up at, up at Amazon, and I've seen these. So I picked up all his eleven for four quid. So there's a hundred and ten quid because if it sells in the UK, which it isn't going to, um, they're up for ten, just over ten pound in the UK. But if it goes to Germany, it'll it'll be something like fourteen or fifteen euros because you add forty percent onto your your value. Um, so that'll be a nice little earner that and it'll be well over 100 quid for four pound there unbelievable amazing you would never I'm starting amazon next month Me yeah and the book. we're going to be good friends is christos going to walk you through it hopefully if he doesn't i'm sunk i'll tell you what though it is difficult i have found it an absolute bore like it's not user friendly at all yeah, I'm going to go through that. You'll hear much swearing and cursing <laughs> as I go through the joy of it. But, um, yeah, it's got to be done, really. I need to diversify my income. Well, I'm booked. I'm going for a lot on eBay. It's um, It's been really – it has been useful. It's had its ups and downs, Amazon, for me in the, in the first few months. But it has been useful because every two weeks I've had a bit of income from Amazon and it kind of boosts what you've – 
what you've got coming in from eBay. Plus, it frees up a bit of space as well. Not a bit, not a lot, but a little bit of space. Um, but yeah, I think it's been worth it, and I'm going to stick it out for the Christmas period and just see what happens. I'm just going to go through everything I've got in storage at the minute and see if it's stuff I can ship off to Amazon. And if it is, off it goes, and I'll forget about it. Yeah. And that'll free up some capacity for me then and hopefully bring in some funds as well to um, reinvest because I'm going to do a bit. Of, I, I don't think you do it in a minute, but I'm going to do a bit of the retail arbitrage of Amazon as well because I went around uh, B&M's, the local B&M's yesterday, spent about 250 quid on about a grand's worth of listed stock. Right. That's just eBay value. So if it was on Amazon, it could be worth a lot more. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I do. I have bought some stuff from like B and M's Home Bargains and stuff for Amazon. Uh, not huge amounts, but um, I am keeping my eye out for stuff like that. Definitely <laughs> worth doing. They seem to reduce their stuff on a Friday, so I got there like first thing uh, yesterday morning, and it was half the price of what it had been two days before when I'd been looking at it. And I had only gone in there to get some printer paper. Right. Yeah. I was going to say one of the things I find with B and M and places like that are it's good when they're on offer, but if they're just the normal prices in in there, then it, there's not a massive amount of yeah. profit in them. But it is good if you can get them when they're on a sale because they normally make them dirt cheap, don't they? Well, they were chucking out Walking Dead figures for a pound in one of them. They they, they, they scanned as three quid, and I thought for three quid they're all right. For a pound, cleared the shelf. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I would have done. And I'd have kept some of them myself as well. Yeah. Was it the ones like the Tiger and all that? Uh, it was the Shiva figure. It's the Commandos G.I. Joe style ones. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. The comic book figures. Yeah. Yeah, well, um, oh, you'll make some good money on them. Yeah. So they, it was weird because in one B&M's, they're still three quid. In this other one, they're a quid. So mm -hmm. I had for a pound. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Tat and Dr. Belfort, when you said it frees up some space, do you know why? Because we've said this a few times, you cannot see what is in front of us now. There's just a sea of stuff. They can do if they want. Oh, I'll just on. turn this just around. Flip that camera around. There's a sea of crap. That is and that's post. That's post your FBA journey starting as. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, exactly. Yeah. Oh. Do you know how bad it's got? Have you, been, you probably couldn't see them, but these are all in um, bags. So this morning when we got ready to go car booting, he was basically accusing me of moving all the bags for life that he generally uses out of the cupboard. And it's not. It's because they're all sat in here. We're stuffing them. I'm going to get a trolley, Andrew. I'm going to have to do what? I'm going to have to get a granny trolley. Get a, you can get big ones that you drag behind you that are, that I think Nick, I think I saw on uh, Nick and Andrea's latest video them using one. They cost a bit, but oh, that's it's well worth it. I, I didn't take. Today. I saw one today, so I but, but <laughs> sorry, go on. <laughs> I saw one today, but um, you know what puts me off with that is when you're looking at a store. I'm worried someone's going to nick something off the back of it. It's never happened to me so far. But, um, have you got one of these big, massive trolleys? I've had the entire trolley stolen once, but not <laughs> something nicked off the trolley. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. There about was somebody that. selling one, but did they want like forty? They wanted forty quid, but 40. you can get them new for that. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. Get a, get a sholly trolley. I'm looking out for sholly trolleys. They're worth uh, a fortune. Never seems to see one though. To be fair, I saw some guy today, and I'm going to send Chris into IKEA on a bit of a bit of a thief sort of thing going on, because there was a guy with one of these IKEA ones that's got like the metal framework where you have the big IT yeah. IKEA, and he was wandering around with one of them, and I was like, that's perfect. Just I think I'll have a look, but I'm pretty sure you used to be able to buy those on eBay. Mm. There you go. Oh, you could just go borrow one from Ikea. I could just get one of them square <laughs> trolleys that, like, granny ones, but the square one that's a bit bigger than a standard one. The one on four wheels. On four wheels. Yeah, I'll get one of them. Yeah. Coming up with kitchen trolleys at the minute. It's not what you want. Yeah, Wayne says, ooh, and Mario. Oh. Yeah, probably. There's all sorts behind there. Yeah. 
a well, big Mario. A big Mario here. He's not listed yet. Uh, but yeah, he can go in the pile, the death pile. Um, of germs and snot. So um, you might be able to see, I put a little banner on the screen that says, check out our 60 second tips. I've been trying to pull together a new little series um, uh, that's a bit different than what's already out there because there's lots, there's quite a lot of resellers doing YouTube, a lot of people doing pickup videos and um, picking videos, um, car boot videos and stuff like that. Uh, so I just thought I'd try and think of something a bit different. So um, just little snippets of advice that we can fit into a couple of, of minute video. Yeah, um, a minute, not a couple. No, it of says sixty seconds, but then I have to do the intro and and all that, so it ends up being two minutes. But <laughs> the actual good. piece of advice is sixty seconds. Okay. So this is like out. police videos. Your one minute police. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, but the advice was one minute. There was a timer on it. Yeah. Um, that, uh, Tommy has said, do you have inventory labs in the UK? It makes Amazon easy as can be. Inventory labs? In, what's, oh, an inventory, inventory, inventory what's an inventory lab. lab? Never heard of one of them, Andrew, have you? No, no, I don't know what that is, no. Not something we can't hear yet. I no, think Amazon has been sued at the minute by the EU as well for um, past. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, we've lost you. Where have you gone? Are you still there, Andrew? Yeah, I'm yeah. still here. Oh, yeah. there we go. Did you just stop talking? I thought it had gone quiet. I was just looking for an article where Amazon had been sued again. I'm just trying to find it. Uh, the tat doctor says, are you going to do an update for Amazon FBA? Um, I did do one, didn't I? Did I do? What did I do, Amazon FBA? I did my first shipment. Yeah, first shipment uh of amazon stuff i might do another one in a little a little while wait until i've sold a bit more so i'm probably selling on average about one item a day on fba at the moment looking at the stats um but stuff does seem to sell for more uh i sold a was it chewbacca yeah i sold a chewbacca dressing oh, gown oh yeah which was brand new um in its packet which I bought for five pound, and it sold on Amazon for forty-seven pound. That's unreal. It's just ridiculous, isn't it? Um, was that a Primark one? No, no it was a boot, wasn't it? There was a guy selling. There was a guy a selling. Boot. Yeah, I think he got them on an auction or something. Uh, it weren't Primark. It was. It was an official. It was an official Star item. Star Wars one. But I wouldn't have got anywhere near that on eBay, so that's good. I've, uh, I've bought Primark Chewbacca onesies before for three quid and sold them for 20 on eBay. Yeah, yeah. Nice little flips. Love Primark, actually, for sourcing. Takes a while for the stuff to sell, but when it sells, it's a good profit. I sold, um, I sold a Primark Pac-Man T-shirt the other day for 10 quid that cost me £2. They just tick away all throughout the year. Yeah. It's quite good, really. Tommy said it's software for Amazon shipments. Hmm. Not heard of that, Tommy. To be honest, might be worth you having a bit of a research and seeing. But the problem some... is, the problem is with all these kind of add-ons and these people, these organisations that help you with Amazon, it is it money. costs you money, and you already have to pay quite a lot of fees to Amazon, especially mm -hmm. for FBA, and certain things you send up there, and it's almost half your money gone in one go. So, um, yeah, that's the only thing that holds me back with stuff like that is it's another charge. Well, he says it does all your profits and you can print out tax information and all. I've just, uh, just had a look, but it's only for Amazon US at the moment, apparently. Right. right. Okay. On the website, which is a shame. But, yeah, if I'm going for Amazon properly, I'll be um, probably buy what Pro and doing that online arbitrage deals. But... We yeah. do a deal with the uh, companies involved to promote their products as well. So that's maybe something you want to consider. Yeah, I, I looked at that that Chris Christos told us about. It just needs a bit of commitment in regards to money and um, buying multiples to make sort of smaller amounts on them. Yeah. But in the long run, you're going to make some good money on it, which is, I think if I was going to go more towards full-time doing this, I think I would do something like that because I would have the time to do it. 
but um, at the moment I haven't really got the time but I'm, I'm certainly not ruling it out because I think it is a good I think it is a good plan to work on um, Peter Ray's just joined us oh hi um, Peter hey Peter um, you've joined us late Peter because we're probably going to wrap it up shortly um, we've yeah. been on hour and 15 haven't we I've won with me copy of Castlevania, Peter. <laughs> oh, imagine if you'd have picked up another one of them. I'd have oh, just been looking out for it. Flip that. Just, just Flip said, it. You know what, Andrew? I, I, I'm, I can't be bothered doing this video. <laughs> I uh, I flipped an incomplete one for 190 quid. So yeah, on that one. Wow. What did you pay for it again? Pound. <gasps> Do you hear Annabelle then? Oh, oh my god! I picked up another game alongside it for a pound that I sold for eighty quid a week later as well. So, wow. was this a charity shop? No, so the car boot. Mm. Two quid into what? Two hundred and seventy. Was just like that is that is. If it had been fully complete, I'd have got three hundred quid just for the Castlevania. And the other game was a bit knackered. That would have been. 115 if it really in mint condition maybe 120 mm. but you can't you can't sniff at that no. can you that's that's bloody good no not at all that's the kind of return i need really that keeps me in alcohol no but it's it's things like that those little nuggets that really keep the drive going isn't it because then you're like yeah. so i know i know we can find a little gem just somewhere yeah and then you went I and picked up at b and <laughs> picked up something for two quid today that's worth 50 but I've not I've not put it in because um, it needs so much cleaning. I know I'm just not going to do it for at least a few months. <laughs> but if it was that much, you get it done, get it on there. Uh, what what was it? That's uh, a um, uh, something to do with a UV light for doing your nails in or something. But it's the top brand. But yeah, it's absolute. Mm -hmm. The state of it's just filthy. We so it, it needs a good proper hour or so of spending on it and i i haven't got an hour to spend on something when i can list other stuff in that time yeah we saw one in a charity shop the other week um and obviously being a girl and having nails i know that some of these can be well worth the money the one we saw wasn't it was like one of the an older version of the brand so it wasn't particularly worth much but i did say to him if you see the newer ones you need to grab them because they're like really expensive so yeah potentially that'd be a good one um i think are we going to do this as a last question now before we wrap up from oh, Peter. On, he's ha he's he's asked andrew have you sold them smart shoes yet do you mean these ones peter i haven't because i was holding them back for the challenge they're getting listed tomorrow He's only just joined us, so I don't know if he means those smart shoes. Have you got some others? No, he, he means those ones. All right. Picked up some other shoes today as well, Peter. Some lovely sketches for six quid that I'll flip for about 40. Tea Cakes says that um, they they did six boot sales this weekend. That's, mm -hmm. That is mental. Go in that. Yeah. I've Thank done like three or four in a morning on a Sunday. Yeah, I was going to, I think four is the most I've done in a in a morning. I've had enough of looking of looking at stuff by then. I kind of your head goes a bit fuzzy. Yeah, I always just think most of the stuff's gone, and it's not true actually because I've turned up at this boot two hours late and still picked up some stuff. Yeah. But I just uh, I'm just lazy at the minute with the sourcing. I think because I've got so much stuff and because I'm moving more into doing games now because that's I, I, I stood 100 quids worth of sales just on games the other day so I get most of that from either my contacts or from the Facebook marketplace yeah mm. so I don't even need to bother going to the car boot in fact if I go to the car boot looking for games I don't get much because all the early birds are there probably nicking yeah. them on yeah oh, I was getting huffed and puffed at this morning because I was strolling around looking at everything and Chris was like no 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 you just have to whip round and then we'll do it and I'm like well you go on, you go on then it's fine you go off and by the time he came back to me he had nothing in his bags and I had like two bags full and yeah I'm like, she did she did do better than me earlier all this would have gone <laughs> I, I these pick up spells then 
No, no. What? These aren't yours, most of these, are they? Most of these are mine. Yeah, I don't think there's any of them. Well, we come as a team anyway, so it's a team effort. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm against two people here. You've got twice the uh, capacity, and I'm, I'm still holding my own. No, to, to be fair, I don't think out of any, everything you've got down there, I don't think any of it's what I've picked. No, probably Majority not. of what I picked today was clothing, clothing. Um, but nothing that's over there now. Yeah. Okay, so, oh, there's a few more comments. Let's have a quick ganders, uh, video games. Um, so, um, thanks for joining us, Andrew, and for um, joining in our car boot challenge. It's been a pleasure. It's been a Thank lot you for having me. Um, we've wrapped up part two of this trilogy of videos, and you reckon your lot came to 450 quid-ish? yeah um listed value for a 50 pound spend but ours came to 486 pound for the same 50 pound so um but time, but will tell. time will tell won't it what we end up with and when we've getting close to selling it all we'll come back on for the third video yeah absolutely can't wait so don't forget guys to sub andrew um we're reminding you there Give him a sub because he's not a million miles away from a thousand, and then he can start earning money on his channel, which is good. Yeah, nice to be rich. Um, and don't forget to, if you're not subbing us, give us a sub as well. Um, and keep an eye on our 60 second tips videos, something a bit new. Um, I've got an idea for the next one that I'm going to film in the next couple of days, which is all about ending your listings um so it might sound a bit strange here's a tip for you end all your listings but <laughs> give up <laughs> trust me it works so i, I know what that tip is but yeah you might well know it's a, it's a fairly simple tip but actually it's something that i've only really recently discovered so yeah keep an eye out and um i think we're nearly done we've got to get the theme tune ready for the end are you ready all right. are you ready to finger dance again no uh, finger dancing are we excellent but thanks to everyone in the chat um thanks for joining in and um watching our video today yeah thank you everyone stay tuned for the next one and don't forget to give us a like as well please because it helps us get more videos and more people watching and I promise next time we'll make sure our cookie's there as well, especially for Bex, seeing as you're uh, having withdrawal. So to be fair, actually, I'm having withdrawal symptoms as well now. Oh, it goes on way too long, the exit one. Awkward, awkward. <laughs> there we go bye everyone